Welcome to Africa TV. Can you please introduce yourself? My name is Shalom Tasiana. I'm from Zimbabwe, and I'm a recent graduate at Shenyang Aerospace University. What year did you enter China? I came to China in 2018. During the COVID-19, were you staying in the school dormitory or outside? Uh, at the time, I was staying in school, yeah. What was it like for you during COVID? Um, actually, it came as a surprise. This was something new that had never happened. And lockdown was not an easy thing. So at the time, it was very difficult, but I've managed to go through it. Mm. What was the craziest thing that happened to you during COVID, during the COVID? Well, in order for us to go outside, we had to apply. And in order for you to apply, you had you were given time about an hour to two hours to come, to do your things and come back. Mm -hmm. So for me, that felt like, you know, like there's no freedom. You know, you had to really apply and it wasn't something that was exciting, okay. especially being uh, abroad and you're still getting used to the place you're at. So, yeah, it was difficult. Okay. Did you take the vaccine? Uh, I took the vaccine, but initially I didn't want to take the vaccine. But because uh, I was to travel, I was planning on traveling home. I had no choice but to take it. Okay. Mm. How did COVID-19 impacted your mental health? Well, surprisingly, it didn't really affect me that much. But uh, there was a point when I almost became depressed. But um, I overcame it and... I just took it uh, like any other day. Oh. Yeah. Did it affect your education in any way? It actually boosted <laughs> my education. Um, yeah, I mean, I was expecting maybe not to do well, but I actually did well. And I actually partook in other, in other, um, other extracurricular activities just to make sure that you know, I'm, I'm not depressed or anything. Mm. Mm. Okay. What was it like transitioning back to your normal life after the COVID? Oh, um, it felt weird, you know, just waking up and uh, walking about your day without any restrictions. You know, at that point, I was really grateful that uh, living in this world and waking up each day, continuing with your things, Without anyone putting a stop or a limitation is a blessing. So yeah, it was it was an amazing experience for me. Mm. How did the COVID affected your relationship or friendship? Uh, I lost a lot of uh, my friendships and yeah, it really took a toll on my relationships because of uh, loss of contact and also everyone is just worried about their own um, safety but um at the end of it all i managed to build new relationships and i've kept uh, one or two friends and we're still interactive today yeah that's what i'm okay would you prefer you had been back home during covid if yes why um <laughs> that one is a battle but i would have gone home you know, uh, you to be, home. I would have gone home. Okay. But given that I came to China to study, I had to, it's actually easier to actually stay here rather than going home because uh, the facilities and the resources are nearby. So uh, at the end of the day, I would have chosen to stay here. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any advice based on your experience? Well... I would advise, uh, okay, if there was anyone who would have been in China or abroad anywhere else at that time during COVID, is that uh, even if you're depressed, even if you are down, you should try to speak with someone, be it your teachers, be it your roommates, whomever is nearby should always try to, you know, tell them how you feel, what you're facing, you know, it will help you. Mm. Mm. Thank you very much for your honest opinion, Charlotte. All right.